Okay, hello everybody, my name is Jose Reyes and in this opportunity I'm going to explain you how to use modal verbs to express degrees of certainty. In other words, I can say we are going to use modal verbs to speculate about the present, the past and the future. Okay, first I'm going to ask you to remember modal verbs. Okay, in order to explain how to use model verbs to speculate about the present, I have a situation here. But before that, let me tell you that when we speculate about something, we think, we believe in that. Okay, so here I have. A scientist discovered water in Mars. Okay, now, I am going to speculate about that. I have some examples. It must be true. It has to be true. That may be true. That might be true. It could be true. Okay, um, in this case, here, you are going to choose a specific model verb in order to speculate about the present. For example, if you are 80% sure that that is true, you can use must and have to. Okay, if you say it must be true, you have a 80% of certainty. Okay, if you are not, not so sure about this, you can use may, might, or could. Here you have a 50% of certainty. Okay, if you want to say sentences in any form, you can use can't, couldn't, must not, may not, might not. Okay, remember, I am talking about the example before. The scientists discovered water in Mars. Okay, I have the examples. Okay, it can't be true. It couldn't be true. That must not be true. That may not be true. That might not be true. Okay, if you are almost sure about that, that that is not true, you can use mass and you can use can't or couldn't because this is about 80% of certainty that you are not sure down so you are less unsure about this you can use may or might this is a, a, about 50% of unsure. Okay. Here I have a situation in order to explain to you how to use modal verbs to talk about or speculate about speculate about past in affirmative form. Okay, here I have one night an explorer saw the snowman running into let's know what can you think about it okay so now I'm going to give you the examples to understand it, the situation okay here I have the examples about the past in affirmative form and I have it must have been true it has to have been true if you are mm, almost sure about that remember about the snowman, do you believe? Okay, it may have been true. This is, uh, according to some books, this is 90%. You are almost sure. It has to have been true. The same too. Okay, if we are not so sure about that, we can use it may have been true it might have been true it could have been true okay here 
I have a 50% of certainty. I'm not so sure about that. We say we can make negative sentences using more words to speculate about the past in negative. Making negative speculations. We can speculate about that. Look at these examples. It can have been true. It couldn't have been true. It must not have been true. Here we have to use this structure. Let me underline them. Okay. This structure to make negative speculations. Here we have if you are almost sure that that is not true use these examples you have a 80 percent 80 percent of certainty that that is fake so that is the reason why mm -hmm. okay here we have a 50 percent if you are not so sure but you say it is possible Okay, it is possible to speculate about the future. In order to explain to you this, I have an example here, a situation, a problem. It's when this, our car isn't working well and on weekend we are leaving to Miami. Okay, what can you speculate about that? Okay, let me show you this. Okay, I have the examples. We should solve it soon. We ought to solve it soon. That is a good idea to solve it soon, to repair the car. And we ought to solve it soon. And in this case, you think that that is a good idea to repair the car about 80%. You have 80% of certainty that you should do it. Okay, we may solve it soon. Okay, we might solve it soon. We could solve it soon. Okay, the car is, um, isn't working well. However, he can move. Um, so, we speculate. Um, we may. We might. We could. Okay, here, um, believe that. Um, a 50%. Okay, and if you see these examples are in affirmative form. Okay, in negative form, to speculate about the future using more verbs, we use only these structures. And now we only have two more verbs in order to speculate about the future in negative form. We may not solve it soon. Okay, remember that I am talking about the car. We might not solve it soon. Approximately 50%. But. Okay, I'm going to finish the video with this and I hope you to use these examples in your learning process because this is very important. Let me tell you that you have to practice a lot of this because it's a little complicated to understand it and using it.